Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Caitlin Ebert. The week is winding down, but we still have a few announcements coming your way, so stay tuned because this is the Line Pride News. with our new interim principal, Coach Tucker. So Coach Tucker, how long have you been an administrator? Well, I've been an administrator, uh, this is my 17th year as administrator, uh, all here at Foley High School. I taught here for two years and then was fortunate enough to get an assistant principal position and now I've been um, fortunate and blessed to get the chance to be the interim principal. Wow, that's a really long time. So how are you liking your new position? Uh, so far, I've been in my office all but three minutes the last two days. I'm kidding a little bit. It's, it's different. It's obviously different being uh, the principal instead of an assistant principal. It's been enjoyable. Um, it's, a little, it's a different role that I really didn't expect to be in this year. Well, that's really good. So do you have any goals for yourself or for the school as a whole? Well, uh, I would like to see Mr. Moore set a goal for seniors to reach 90% graduation this year. Uh, that is one that we're going to work toward and we'll be mentioning more about that with the seniors and with our teachers. That is absolutely something we want to look for. We think that is a realistic goal. Uh, that's an immediate goal. Um, we're working our AP programs rolling right along in all our academic classes. Our career tech program is something that Mr. Moore has really put emphasis on the last few years. Uh, we're looking forward to continuing that. We have a lot of students who don't mind learning, but they, they're ready to get a job when they go out. And we've got some programs that are rolling right along that will help them do that. So we're looking forward to that. Um, so long range, we would like to be the premier career tech school as well as the premier AP school in the county. Um, our enrollment is increasing, so we're gonna have to look at ways to, you know, how to deal with all the students we have and the diverse uh, population we have. And so a lot of challenges out there, but uh, our students have always rolled with the punches and done it. Our faculty certainly is up to it. Uh, and we'll continue where we are. We'll look at some things uh, and see if we need to adjust a little bit, but we're pretty much going to hang where we are right now. All right, well those sound like some really good goals. Thank you for talking to us today. Back to the news. Designs for this year's homecoming shirts are due today to Miss Cody in room 210 or Miss Anderson in room 402. Be a part of Homecoming 2014 by submitting your entry today. Also, the Interclub Council meeting scheduled for today has been rescheduled for Tuesday immediately after school. Good morning, Foley High School. This is a reminder for all Foley Theater Company members of a work session 45 minutes each day after school. Also, any member interested in signing up for Drama Club may sign up for rehearsals in Miss Anderson's room 402 beginning on Monday. And don't forget to pay your $15 t-shirt and club fee. Now back to the news. Seniors, do you want to spotlight your senior year? Well, you can. Purchase a senior spotlight ad in the Foley High yearbook. If you purchase a full page ad, you will receive a free 2014-15 yearbook. Buy your ad from Miss Styron in room 803. Today we have some very special birthdays. They are Tierra Pogue, Malaysia Jemison, Jeremiah Bridges, Damian Harmon, Sarah Ryder, Kendall Clark, and Heb McClintock. I hope you all have an awesome day. The club that we're featuring today is FCA, which stands for Fellowship of Christian Athletes. I'm here with a member of Jay Tibbs. So do you mind explaining exactly what FCA is? Yeah, um, FCA, it's an organization to where um, believers and non-believers, we can just come together and just study God's Word and just have conversations and just really get down into detail about what it says and how we can apply it to our lives and to encourage each other and uh, just lift each other up in the name of the Lord. So, um, how exactly would a student go about joining FCA? Um, we meet Wednesday mornings at 7.15, um, so you can just come by and um, there's really no act, like defiant joining process. You can just come and be a part of it. I think you can pay a little bit of money to get a t-shirt to go to our um, Fellowship of Christian Athletes rally with the Senior Bowl. Um, but as far as that goes, that's all it takes. 
So, like, what kind of students can join FCA? Um, any. You can be an athlete. You don't, you don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be a Christian. You can be anybody. Um, participate in any activity. Everybody is welcome to come. Thank you so much. Any boys interested in playing soccer this season need to attend an informational meeting in Coach B's room 407 two day after school. The meeting will last until 4.30, so please make appropriate arrangements for transportation. Please bring a pen or pencil to the meeting. Congratulations for being the Teachers of the Week for the Lion Pride News along with Mr. OK. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do and for being such great teachers. Thanks. We really appreciate the van from Lion Land. And that's all of your Lion Pride news for today. Join us tomorrow for more news from around school. Have a great day.